This is the Heron Inn. Look at those pretty Heron stained glass windows. You ready to check in? Yes. <laughs> Pretty nice bathroom, good sized bedroom, good windows. I wonder what our view is of. And then well, that's the front, there's our car right on below it. Okay. So this place also serves breakfast and it has like coffee 24 seven, tea 24 seven, everything you could possibly want. And then they also, it's a day spa as well. So they have uh, massages and facials and all that kind of thing. What's a nice gift from Nate and Sonia. So thank you, we're loving this. <laughs> so we really wanted seafood. So we actually made reservations at the Nelthorne restaurant. It got really good reviews on Yelp. It sounded really good. Yeah, and getting maybe an appetizer and then sharing an entree or something along those lines. So we'll check it out and see how it is. Mushroom and gorgonzola. We split the Caesar salad. This is the Dungeness Crab Tagliatelle. My mom and I got it split, so it's the perfect amount. It looks beautiful. Crab. What was your verdict, Mom? Food was so good, and they were so nice there. We have had such great service everywhere we've gone. Yeah, here in Laconer, we've and had amazing service. You know, we, sh we we share our meals. They brought us separate plates. Yeah, they didn't charge us a split fee. A split fee, so that was really I mean, nice. It was... And the woman was so nice. Yeah. Now we're walking through town because trying to work off all that I food. Am, I'm so full. I can't. Breathe. I can't breathe. So we're just wandering along the main street. It's very safe here. Neither of us feel unsafe. Do you feel yeah. unsafe? No. <laughs> and it's everything is pretty much closed. So we're kind of just enjoying a little wander down the street, doing a little bit of we can do window shopping. Window and shopping. Not have to worry about spending any money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wandering around, minding our own business, and look at this little dog that's hanging out here on the. It's kind of cold. You should His go home. Is Dirty Biter. Oh, that's a horrible name. And he oh, died. Nice dog. He was 1971 to 1982. 1971 to 1982. Sorry, Dirty Biter. Oh, look at his teeth. <laughs> look at his picture. We love you and miss you, Dirty Biter. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. had our delicious breakfast and we're enjoying some coffee talking about well the wind and the rain outside <laughs> <laughs> saying it's not gonna be easy to do any more filming to, today yeah it's not so fun to film in the wind and the rain but <clears throat> we have our massages and stuff going on in, oh, a, in an hour and then after that we might hit the thrift shops and then we're thinking about just driving around possibly hitting Stanwood which is this cute little town nearby and checking maybe it not. out for another time maybe. yeah and maybe maybe not so it's not going to be too much excitement today, but come with us and see what we can find. Heading out soon to go do our spa day. However, I wanted to point out, in case I forget, that one of the big draws of this area is actually the tulip festival. So Skagit Valley in general has this giant tulip festival in the spring. And it's tulips, but then also daffodils. There's huge, there's lots of fields of daffodils and tulips here. There's a few uh, farms that you can go and pay a little bit of money and, you know, walk through the tulip fields. And sometimes they have hay rides. They have different special gardens that you can wander around in and then food and things like that. And that's definitely something that we'll probably visit in the future, but not gonna see in this trip. But I wanted to point it out because it's a really important part of the La Conner tourism trade. We are gonna check out Vintage Look Honor, thrift and consignment shop. Mom loves thrift stores. Let's see what kind of damage she can do here. crazy with the Christmas 50% off. <laughs> oh, I do like the glass bulbs. Oh, 
upstairs. Ooh, books. Books are always dangerous. Ooh, jackets. Ooh, right. I, I might need some jackets. Or, like, snow jackets. Oh, snow jackets. Mom dropped an ornament. I'm sad. I'm a <laughs> bad girl. <laughs> so we went a little crazy. We bought a lot, but for whatever, for everything that we got, we only spent twenty-six dollars. And I got this nice. I actually have one of these cake covers, but it has a bit of a chip in it, and that was five dollars. And then all the Christmas ornaments were half off, and they were all pretty inexpensive anyway. So we're really happy with what we got. Okay, so what did you end up getting, Mama? <laughs> Lots of Christmas decorations. Um, we were really inspired by the quilting store yesterday, and so we were looking for kind of oldish looking. Yeah, a lot of the older, I like older ornaments and things like that. And uh, they had some. Yeah, and then you got a book, and <laughs> that was $2 for a hardback. I got my candles that were, they light up on the top. They were $6 for the pair, but she's like, you can consider those Christmas candles. So then I got she them She wasn't going to get them. She put them back. I put them back. And she says, I would consider that Christmas. Yeah. And she gave them a half price. So I got those. Those were nice. So I guess this is turning sort of into a thrifting video because <laughs> <laughs> we ended up having a lot of fun there. But I really highly recommend Vintage uh, Le Conner. It was a great place. And everybody we've talked to here said they also love this thrift shop. Yeah. So they have a lot of good things. And I think they have a lot of things constantly coming in because they even had like a little free sections. So. And then a guy came in and said, oh, I see you sold the table I just dropped off last week. So things move pretty yeah. quickly there. So that's Which is good nice. for them. Yeah, and the prices are incredibly <laughs> reasonable there. So if you're in La Conner, check out Vintage La Conner. We like it. Yeah. Santa Coyote. Oh, that's a cute name. Sangria margarita. Well, it's not sangria, but it's like, but she says it's like, got, like something floating on it that makes it kind of nice. look at the, look at the yeah, gradient, and it tastes wonderful. It tastes like sangria. Mom got the chili rellenos, which is like her favorite. My thing. favorite. Yeah, and, and it looks good. She says it's really good. Here. I got this shrimp, which is wrapped in bacon, which looks amazing. It does. These prawn bacon covered bacon covered prawns with cheese on them. Incredible. And the vegetables are fresh. Everything has great flavor. Happy. And the chili rano is perfect too. All right, so we're buzzed. <laughs> yes, that drink was uh, strong. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. So that was delicious. My camarones coyote was amazing. Mom's chili rano was exactly what she wanted. And the drinks were good. Now we're going to head over to Nasty Jacks or Nasty something. I was right, it's Nasty Jacks. Good job, Amy. World famous antiques. My friend Hannah says this is her favorite antique store. Antique store. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. The the bed, uh, the one behind it. It's like a. That stuff looks so cool. Hey, look it for my um... oh. antiques. I want one of these. Mom really wants this gigantic $549 ship's anchor. You don't need the anchor. I need it. You anchor. don't need the anchor. <laughs> Faces and stuff, ten bucks. Eh, not the least, it does. Good for people who love um, steampunk, though, and are trying to steampunk something. You've got this fifteen dollar. Oh, and it's got the cocoa mix in it. I wonder how old that is. Mom found these wood or wood floats for five dollars each. Not bad, huh? No. Is that a good price? I don't know. How... Those plastic ones were twenty-five cents each. Yeah, but these, these are, are wood. wood.
the nice thing about here in Laconer is there's actually quite a few public bathrooms. So if like the bathroom is out of order wherever you're at, like at Nasty Jack's, then you can just take a little bit of a walk and work off some of the food and use one of the public restrooms. Okay, so we had fun at Nasty Jack's. We definitely, there's a lot of things to look at Ooh. there. <laughs> nope, that doesn't help. <laughs> then you have to squeeze over There's here. a lot of things to look at there. Uh, so we did get a couple of things. Mom got some wooden floats. I got that uh, that tin tray. tray, which I really liked. And the prices are a little more expensive there, but it is an antique shop, so they are priced. They're not pricing it as a thrift shop would. <laughs> it's, it's not for so resale. <laughs> Do you like my 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 light yes. show on me? But it was a fun place to wander around, and there was a lot going on there. So many cute things. Yeah. I mean, it just brings you back to nostalgic. Well, some things were from the 1800s. I wasn't born then. <laughs> not Close, but not quite. So then next we're going to hit, there's a bear shop here in town and actually they're going out of business so it's, everything's 50% off. So I'm going to include it, but it might not be here when you come. But hey, oh, if you hurry, true. you could come before they close. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go check it out and see what kind of things they have. I have a beard. Yeah, you do. <laughs> What? When we came here, Suzanne ran up and down this stairs. She did. Street. Our friend ran up and down these stairs because she, she likes is to work out. healthy. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. Yeah. So here's this bear place, Bears and Friends Forever, which is going out of business, so everything's 50% off. So they got lots of little bears in their windows. store was for a collection from a lady named Lisa who passed away and that was her whole collection of bears those are collectible bears they're Stuff. German they're a German brand Skyfers. I Stuff. can't remember how to pronounce it I've heard of them before they are expensive but they are collectors items and they're working on selling off as much of her collection as they can since she's passed and they're gonna stay open until they'd sell quite a few quite a bit so if you're in a Laconia area in the next couple of months go check them out right now they're 50% off the Ooh, uh, we'll go more the lead the girl there was really nice that we chatted with so we're tired <laughs> we've had a, long a very weekend. long weekend and so we're gonna head home now it's not too long of a drive from from where we live it's about 45 maybe 50 minutes yeah Something like that. We had a really good time in La Connor. I highly recommend it. There's definitely things we didn't get a chance to do. Yeah, there's more to do here. Yeah. You come and explore it and tell us about it. Yeah, so there's a lot of shops up and down the street. We've checked out quite a few. Actually, last night we were window shopping and we looked in the windows of quite a few of them. <laughs> and then there is the Skagit Valley uh, Historical Museum, which I've heard is a really nice museum go. as well. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, what else is there? There's a few other things to do. Lots of restaurants to try that we good haven't got a chance food. to try. We were able to make a full weekend out of... Laconer, even though it's a small town, there's a lot of things to see and do here, and uh, just a great environment. Pleasant, relaxing. Everybody here was kind in every single shop, bar, yeah. restaurant. We really enjoyed ourselves, and we hope you enjoyed coming with us to Laconer. If you did, click that like button right now and subscribe. Subscribe so you can see when my next video comes up. Become part of our family. Yeah, so you can <laughs> join our little adventure family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next big adventure. Take care. Bye. Bye.